and others are trimming the grasses so it's so noisy you can enjoy it actually Please, you cannot see Carol White in this place <laughs> when you short and small but my self-esteem is like that of a giant hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new viewer my name is Doris Talimun I'm Nigerian but I currently live in Saudi Arabia with my family and on this channel I talk about my life in Saudi Arabia I share my experiences in today's video i have something to share with you guys uh in regards to my youtube channel like the title says i was betrayed by a friend and i want to share the experience with you and i i hope that someone learns a thing or two from my experience okay before i do that i want to quickly rush to the store down my street to get milk for luto we normally buy fresh milk and it, it expires in six to seven days so we buy weekly so i'm going to buy milk and i'll dash to a pharmacy to also buy him a toothbrush sorry about my voice i don't know why it sounds so coarse i guess it's just the the weather the sun is sunny ah shh. it's very hot the sun in this place man it can roast corn <laughs> i know that my president elect is going to be proud of me hearing me say this this one can roast agbado for sure so yeah that's what we're doing so as soon as i buy those things i'm going to look for a perfect spot to sit and just you guys how a friend betrayed me okay so let's go to the store come with me guys one thing i've noticed about this place is that there are so many cats <laughs> and cats or cats that do not have owners they are always on the streets the number of cats in this town alone could form a local government back in nigeria i'm telling you <laughs> i'm walking very very fast i don't know if my hands are shaking but this one is too hot i need to hurry back and get home so guys another thing i've observed about this place is that you would hardly see small buildings okay every house is is gigantic every house is mighty you just have very big big houses yeah sometimes i i when i'm walking on the road i just stop by to count the number of you know rooms in a particular house it's massive so this house this house on my right is where one of my husband's colleague lives he's nigerian he's from enugu state and they normally come to our house and i come to their house too i make their daughter's hair yeah uh, i have a skill though i think sometime in future i'm going to perfect it and monetize it i make hair let me show you what i did on my hair yesterday <laughs> although i'm i'm better off making for people if i try to make it on my own it doesn't usually come off so good guys i think living here if there's one thing i've missed um i've missed greeting people <laughs> along the way all the undeve ekaro inakwana inagija good morning all that i miss it a lot and it's <laughs> one of the reasons that i miss her you know that social interaction where you get to see people you know right come on it's still no easy oh and right now in saudi arabia the last time i went out and i opened my hair someone said why well, wasn't i covering it but it seems a lot of you do not know that things have changed in this part of the world and a lot of laws have been 
some laws have been relaxed actually so tying of a scarf is like optional it's your choice to do it so if you don't want to do it you won't do it so most of the time i do it for the respect of the people okay i don't see them opening their heads so i feel i should respect them we do it for the culture okay for the respect of the people who are hosting me who are you know taking care of me mm. yeah that's why we do it Guys, so I'm um, approaching the pharmacy now. It's a bit of a walk from the house to the pharmacy. But I like it. It's sunny. I stay indoors most of the time. And sometimes I feel like I, 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 I'm so down. I, I feel I like, I lack vitamin D. So it's a good thing. I'm enjoying it, actually. And my boys are at home. Luto can never ever let me do this kind of thing at home so I left them at home yesterday we slept around 4 a.m. so they're going to sleep till it's like 3 p.m. that's when they wake up crazy yeah but you can see how quiet and dry the roads are like I told you these guys they don't come out during the day so one thing I've noticed anytime I go to the pharmacy is that most of their body creams are sold at pharmacies okay unlike back in Nigeria where you have um, body creams being sold at um, supermarkets or just stores generally here it's like pharmacy and you hardly see any quick action get fail in in five days you cannot see carol white in this place <laughs> when you go you see products like dove you see cerave you see you know those products that are dermatologically recommended that's what you see and it's usually in their pharmacies and i think it's a very good thing i wish this sort of thing was you know uh realistic in africa to curb bleaching a lot <laughs> when you don't have any get fair in seven days you have no option that to settle for what is suitable and healthy for your skin okay um oh. Oh god what's happening it looks like this place is locked it looks like it's, it's locked i did not open yet ah, but my husband told me i'll find them open oh god this is what i was talking about the pharmacy is locked guys they're not open it's getting to 10 10 a.m here and the pharmacy is not open oh. okay i think i'll just look for a place this, I'm very close to the park right now, so I'll just look for a place and sit and we'll have a chat, okay? About what I told you earlier and how a friend of mine betrayed me in this YouTube hustle. So let's go, guys. Guys, so I got to the park quite, but um, the workers are watering the plants and others are trimming the grasses. So it's so noisy, but they were almost done. So I decided to come back to buy everything i wanted to buy buy the milk and also check if the pharmacy is open so i can buy it so when i'm done i'll still go back to that park that is where i really want to sit and record it's so beautiful there so on my way back the pharmacy was open so i bought the toothbrush and i bought a floss for luto so i'm headed for the store where i'll buy the milk when i buy the milk i'll go back to that park and we'll talk about this issue of my friend okay you know it's so painful it's best when you're rejected by strangers or when the reject <laughs> sorry when the rejection comes from from friends or from family it hits different but i'm not someone that is easily weighed down by things like that so i just thought i should you know motivate someone to be strong okay guys so i'm here at the store i 
I just got a little milk. I saw Laban. Should I let go? Should I pick one? Of course, I did pick one <laughs> and I headed out. Trances, going off to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like the drive, get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. Guys, can you see what um, I was talking about? Can you see the water on the floor? This this uh, grasses have been water today. They are water like every morning, every day. <sighs> there are people who have been employed to water grasses in this place, and I find it quite fascinating. It's like very sunny. Since I came to this place, I think it rained just um, twice, just twice, twice, and it just drizzled. It wasn't anything heavy, but see how. Their trees are flourishing and the grasses are so green. So this is conscious effort. I, I find it so fascinating that people are intentional about, you know, the development of their country. It's something that I really wish my country could emulate. But we'll get there. We'll get to that point. So I came back to this, um, this water again, the Red Sea, because this is where I look for a spot to sit and tell you guys you know the gist i have for you Omo, what did they pepper me what did they pepper me seriously but can you see the water guys let me go closer so you get to see how massive this is guys can you see can you see how massive this is isn't god just wonderful oh i can't go close i'm alone here so I'm scared. I'm scared to go close. Oh, look at that. Sounds like music to my ears. I wish I could go closer, but I can't, okay? I'm the only one in this whole park. No one comes out when it's... Guys, so please permit me to carry my mic like this, okay? Because of my scarf, I'm scared that it's going to rub on it and affect the sound. So here is my experience of how a friend betrayed me. So um, how many of us have had this experience of, you know, when you're kickstarting a project and you want people to support you, most of the times your friends and family do not come forth. It's mostly strangers who support you. Although there are a few exceptions, there are some friends and family members that no matter how whack your idea is, no matter how crappy it is, they always always support you and I have those kind of persons in my corner so before I castigate anyone uh, I'd love to you know appreciate the effort of those who constantly who have always stood by me irrespective of whatever project it is that I've embarked on so you guys are amazing you guys are awesome okay so um when I started my youtube channel I I wasn't expecting, you know, to to grow this rapidly, like uh, I'm I'm growing, and I think that's all thanks to God, all thanks to God. Sorry, the birds are distracting me. They're so beautiful. So um, I sent a WhatsApp broadcast message to about two hundred and fifteen contacts on my WhatsApp, and only five persons, you know reacted to that positively by going to subscribe to my channel to comment to watch my videos and this is aside other people who have subscribed to my channel other friends and family members who have subscribed to my channel so i didn't send those messages to them i sent to people who had not already subscribed to my channel 
so there's this particular friend of mine we've been friends for years it's, it's for decades more than 10 years now so when he saw the message he he came and that was i think he didn't even react to he didn't react to the broadcast message i sent another message when i did a video my video about why i regret coming to saudi arabia i shared it with him on whatsapp and the next thing he sent to me or he asked me was madam so do you expect me to go to youtube and just watch you talk Omo, <laughs> make a no lie pay me <laughs> ah, I'm like, why would you say something like this to me? As I, I thought it was a joke actually, and I laughed over it. I made a joke of it. But why I, in the end, I thought about it and I discovered it wasn't a joke is the fact that he didn't come to my channel, he didn't watch the video, he didn't comment, he didn't subscribe. So it was he wasn't joking when he said that. So I felt so bad, but there is something about me my self-esteem is i'm very petite very petite i'm very very small short and small but my self-esteem is like that of a giant my self-esteem is huge so you can't make me feel bad or you can't dampen my spirit it could be for a while but it doesn't last that's who i am you know knowing where i come from and knowing you know how far god has brought me i don't have fears about anything so if i have any project and someone does not support me i i contact someone for support and i don't get the support i don't feel bad because where i'm where god has brought me is is from a very it's a humble background where he brought me so if he had brought me from that place then why won't he take me to my destination so that has been my consolation all these years i have been able to accomplish great things without knowing anybody but hoping on god and he has opened you know doors for me if not for god i would have been you know the wife to one village farmer now with just a yam ban and two chickens to my name you understand <laughs> but god has been so kind i was able to acquire an education many thanks to my my foster parents my my uncle my late dad's elder brother and his wife who brought me to town and sent me to school i'm always grateful to them that the reason i am where i am today and they're the reason i can sit in front of you and open my mouth to say come or go i wouldn't have known that because of where i'm coming from so i don't feel bad at all when people do not support me but the reason why i am you know saying this is just to encourage someone out there i know a lot of persons have been getting this kind of rejections from friends from family and anytime someone rejects or someone does not support your project i don't think you should feel bad especially when the project is at its infancy you know it's not everyone that will share your vision they want to see results before they key in so when it's just uh when you're just nurturing don't feel bad when you don't get the support okay just keep 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 planting keep planting by the time it germinates into something very big they will come back and they will support you and like my friend will say someone will bring out a picture that you guys snapped in 1998 and begin to show people that ah this is my g this is my home me you know my og you understand so don't feel bad when people do not support your courses at all i've received other funny responses Sha. someone even told me that so uh, you expect me to watch your videos so that you make money and i will spend my money these are all my friends okay and it's so funny but the love and support that i've gotten from the very few friends and family that I know, it has been massive. And then to you guys whom I do not know, YouTube has been recommending you guys to me. You watch my videos and then you subscribe. Who I be now? Who I be? So I'm grateful to you guys. I thank you so much. I appreciate you. And this is me encouraging. A lot of persons have come to, to my inbox asking me how they can start a YouTube channel. And I procrastinated for three years. All right. But here I am today. And doing this so I think you can 
I know that you can do it if you put your mind to it. I have never edited before. It was when I, I started this channel that I learned how to edit. I edit my videos. You don't need to have everything all together for you to begin. If your desire is to have a YouTube channel, you can start with what you have. You can start with your Infinix phone and, you know, get apps, editing apps that are free of charge and begin your YouTube channel. You don't know who is out there waiting to connect with you. And before you know, you will grow. I am grateful to people who say who say yes to me and I'm grateful to those who say no to me. All of this add as fuel, you know, for me to continue to do more and you can also do more. Don't take people's no's to heart, okay? Sometimes it's because they do not understand where you're going. So just get to your destination and you see them coming running to you. So I hope you enjoy this short vlog and I hope that you learned something from what I just shared. If you did, please, can you give this video a massive thumbs up and, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what project are you working on? Are you planning on starting a YouTube channel? What's stopping you? Okay. Let me know. So if there's a way I can motivate you, I would do that. All right. And please don't forget to subscribe. This is very important to me. Subscribe to my channel. All right. It means a lot to me when I see those numbers grow. It proves to me that, you know, someone appreciates what I'm doing and someone, you know, out there, cares about me so it means a lot to me don't forget to subscribe guys please don't forget to subscribe all right That's, this is where we end the vlog for today i will see you in my next video i love you guys so much you guys are amazing thank you guys thank you so much